the late adopter hi guys what's up how you doing not that well i'm guessing minus 5.3 percent right now just keep on bleating this is like third third day in a row with uh, big uh, red numbers you know like every all other altcoins bitcoin is actually doing a little bit better or it was doing better until today today minus 5.7 percent so today's bitcoin is actually a lot more than a lot of other small coins or in the ballpark there but uh, i'm not worried that worried about bitcoin i just had a live stream where i explained like bitcoin is gonna go to the moon soon and stuff like that so i'm quite actually quite bullish so i what i'm looking for right now on altcoins is actually button i'm looking where this is gonna stop and where it's gonna reverse i'm not looking at some kind of low very low numbers i'm just looking at uh, right over here where we are right now on the daily we are almost hitting the the uh, 200 moving average down here right so you know that that might be actually some kind of nice support if you, you start continuing or dropping down there the 200 moving average so we're gonna see that we are also in some kind of triangle here uh, breaking some kind of uh, trend line down there we're gonna see that but uh I'm looking for some kind of support where this is going to reverse and I don't think it's going to take that long time. Let's get into the chart, make my face smaller charts bigger and see what's actually happening over here. So we're going to start with the daily uh, daily time frame. We're going to remove all these uh, uh, very nice lines. So you can see here that we start being really bullish up here when we cross the red and the white line. That's the 10 and 20 moving average. This is 20, this 10 moving average. We crossed that on the upside, right? And we were holding it and then we dropped here. So here we went from being bullish to being bearish again because this is also create, was also creating a higher high. And these lows were also creating higher highs. So technically we are in bullish, uh, some kind of bullish, uh, bullish uh, channel. And then we broke the channel towards downside hit. Not only that, right now we are holding this support down here on the daily time frame that I actually hope that we can actually support because we don't want to break this level down here so this is the first level where I'm looking at to get the support right now because if we break this level and close down here today there's still 14 hours and 24 minutes left for the close before this candle closes but uh, I'm, I'm looking to close above it, above this level up here, because if you close below the level down here, right, uh, you get low and you get a lower low, and that means that the, uh, the uh, you know, the trend is changing to the downside, which is not actually a good thing, you know, but it doesn't have to mean anything. Right now, we are pretty, some pretty low levels. We are trying to consolidate. We are trying to find some kind of bottom where we can, uh, you know, where we can reverse and continue going up. So the first thing that comes to mind is this 200 moving average here on the daily chart. You can see here how nicely it's sitting right below us so that's uh the level for the 200 moving average 0 0.08 uh that ha this has to be taken seriously this level down here 0 0.08 it's a very mo nice moving average very large moving average 200 daily moving average so if we cannot get support there and we start falling through the uh, 0 0.08 like it does not look good if you start falling below this level guys it does not look good you can see here we fell through that but we just got bought back right back about the second time bought back right again uh here we not didn't even come closer right now we are slowly get, getting down there some kind of a maybe a push down uh, before we actually explode to the upside again so we're gonna see how this is gonna play out let's see the weekly time frames we can actually get any kind of uh, support here from the weekly there is this uh, very nice support up here at just below uh, the where we are right now that actually might help us 0.093 there's also support there and of course we got a support down here at uh, 0.086 so you see there are a couple of supports that actually might uh, hold us once we start falling down here and after that uh, you gotta you gotta be looking at uh, you know the 50 moving average that's the 50 moving average and this uh, down here so below, below i would say below 0.81 and uh, down here there is nothing so if you fall through that 200 moving average on the daily like like this is gonna this is gonna go and we're gonna go all the way down uh, down to the 50 moving average because th th there is like no support in, in this area here uh, maybe on the on the daily time there is some kind of support but uh, it, it just doesn't look that good it just doesn't look good so technically you just don't want to fall below 0 0.081 you just don't want to do that if you do that like it can be uh, it can be really really bad but um, you know on, on, on looking on the bright side and the good side the sports are all in this area up here right uh, below the price for a very price now and the, the the 200 moving average we got one two three four support so there is a lot of uh, places where you can stop unfortunately this is uh, this drop is a 70% drop but you know you if you survived if you survived uh, you know 
these these other jobs at 50 percent something like that like 70 percent like what's that what's that like what's that like so i don't see, consider this as a that big of a drop even though if we go all the way down to 70 percent i don't see it i'm considering that this might actually hold before we actually continue uh getting some kind of relative upside because this right now is some kind of cons consolidation period we dropped hard uh we consolidating and right now we might uh, look looks like we are going to go down again but you know i i'm ho hoping that we can get some kind of move to the upside and then if we are going to uh, get rejected by then then we can actually talk about some kind of low levels but i'll show you also why i don't think these low levels will ever come uh let's uh, see uh, quickly on the uh, on the uh on the uh, daily uh, weekly time frame and this i don't know you know i've been watching over my time as a technical analysis i've been watching a lot of charts and when you got some kind of a move that's go something like this you always watch for these uh these uh weeks below it right these weeks below it and these weeks right now is forming a up uptrend line and this is a bullish line often when you you have some kind of downtrend you you, you form two weeks that are going downwards and it's going to act as, uh, as a resistance but right now the resistance is actually going towards the upside so if you start going up here I, I would be looking at some kind of numbers at 0 0.18 0 0.20 or something like that to get back up there before we actually hit that resistance now if you manage to get above the resistance is going to be good but you know that that will be very good a nice resistance up there also this resistance here at 0 0.16 when we actually start going uh, towards the upside so why i don't i think that we actually might actually go below the 200 uh, moving average well this um, first of all when you're watching it like this over here it seems like uh, you know the chart is uh, not corrected enough you know you can always fall 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 right because this is a logarithmic chart but if you don't not if you're not looking at it uh, as a logarithmic chart if you're just looking at it uh, like this over here uh, you can see that the move that we had like it, it is parabolic move it, it did explode it did go parabolic you know uh, and right now it is consolidating uh, going all the way back down to 200 moving average now the important thing to notice here is that we had a correction of uh, right now of 85 percent already okay so there is already been correction of 85 percent that's with the week this the second week 76 percent correction this is 68 so technically around we are right now sitting at around some 65 70 percent correction and that's a pretty big correction like yeah sure you can go all the way down to zero or 90 or whatever right but when you're having already some kind of 84 5 percent correction you know move to the upside has to come i, I don't care what kind of what kind of price uh, chart is like move to the upside has to come also let's see where the moving averages are on the on the weekly time frame and you can see here that we are right now actually on the weekly falling through the uh, 20 moving average this is a 20 moving average uh, sorry this is the 20 moving average and we went down below it we tried to climb above it went up to the 10 moving average got rejected uh, right now falling back below the uh, 20 uh, uh, 20 moving average so we're gonna see what's gonna happen we don't want to stay below uh, the the 20 moving average down here forever we don't want to fall we technically we don't, don't want to fall below it because it will be bearish but you know there is always this uh, support down here at just below us at 0 0.093 so we're gonna see if that gonna wanna hold let's just zoom a little bit back uh, to, to our lines uh, put the uh, zoom in over here put all the moving averages you know make the noise uh, make the chart noisy and stuff like that i don't think we need these big ones over here so these are actually the support lines right now that we are having let's let's put some numbers on it uh, so it's easier to see up here 0 98 93 then you get uh, this done here at uh, 86 and 81 now the thing again to note is that we don't know which support line is gonna hold but we are uh, we are assuming one of the, the then we hold and whichever hold doesn't matter which one we're gonna have the bounce and i am already predicting bounce on the bitcoin if bitcoin is gonna have the bounce uh you know uh, probabilities that all outcomes will have a bounce as well so today nothing unfortunately is uh, looking that good uh, right now for right now but we are getting close to these kind of support lines we're gonna fi figure out which one of these are actually gonna help us uh uh huddle the price and uh, which one is actually gonna help us you know uh, uh, escape to the upside so that's what i got for you today you know i'm gonna try to keep you updated on we chain so do subscribe to the channel like the video on the way out and uh check out the tf and check out the link down below you know check out all the links you know yeah, guys check out the links anyways thanks for watching i do appreciate you stopping by the channel see you again another time Bye bye